I never know how to start my videos. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to show you my portfolio for communications design, which was actually the portfolio that got me accepted into HTV in Berlin. And I actually got some requests for this video, which made me very happy. I'm just gonna show you my portfolio. Maybe you can get an idea if you don't know where to start and you're thinking about studying design. And if not, I hope this video is still entertaining for you and let's just get right into it. I think this is going to be a longer video, but I'll try to keep it as short as possible. I got a scoop over for the portfolio here. <laughs> so I applied last year for communications design. This is my portfolio from that application. The pandemic had already started so I had to hand in an online version of my portfolio. Normally you would go and drop off your portfolio with like all the printed stuff and I guess I was kind of lucky because it saved me a lot of money <laughs> not having to print out everything and make it like a physical portfolio. It was just an upload which I think benefited me, honestly. But okay, enough talking. I'm gonna get into the first page of my portfolio. These are two digital paintings that I made. I made them in Photoshop. It's one of Bad Bunny, a uh, like reggaeton artist, and Tade, German YouTuber, rapper I like, whatever. Yeah, I just wanted to show off my skills. It doesn't really have a meaning or anything but there is a reason behind why these two paintings are the first ones in my portfolio because I try to strategically structure my portfolio so that the first works would be pretty strong, the middle would get like weaker and then the end would have a strong ending again. And I chose these two paintings specifically to be the first ones because I had already gone to um, some Mappenberatungen and I had gotten some compliments on both of them. So I wanted these two paintings to be the first ones they see when they opened my portfolio and maybe they would recognize me. You know what I'm talking about? I was trying to make them remember me from the Mappenberatungen. Okay, next pit is nothing really special. It's just some drawings, I guess. Again, I was trying to show that I can draw, that I understand shapes, how shadows work and light and stuff. So I did a nude drawing of a woman. As you can see this is a mixture of like scanned drawings and like just pictures of my sketchbook. The painting that you can see, um, the strawberry, is actually a painting I made with acrylics. My goal was to make it as realistic as possible. I actually really like it. It's a painting I'm very proud of. On the next page I have some pictures that I took of my sister Nyara. I just took these and edited them on Lightroom. Even though it's nothing that amazing, I guess, photography-wise, I just wanted to show, and this is going to be a theme in my portfolio that you will be able to recognize, that I'm just trying to show that I'm interested in all areas of communications design and that I'm eager to learn about other subjects I may not be that good in. Yeah. Next page, I don't know if I can call this UX design, but it's just an app that I came up with and the idea behind how I would design it if it were real. It's like a social networking app for people of mixed cultures, nationalities. I guess I came up with this idea because I'm German and Peruvian myself, so yeah, that's the idea behind it. And as you can see, I also uploaded it with my brainstorming process. I think this is actually a pretty good tip if you don't know about it, and that is to include your process behind how you come up with your concepts. I think that they like to see that. Next page is again some drawing, just showing off my skills. <laughs> I'm getting too confident, but they are all portraits. I actually cut these out of one of my sketchbooks, which I don't know if I regret. I just wanted to show 
that I like to draw. <laughs> Next one is again a illustration. I took some reference pictures to draw these people from just like Berliners partying and as you can see again I also included the step-by-step -step progress of how the illustration came to be and now that I see it I guess it's pretty funny but not my best work, definitely. <laughs> Next page is again not my best, it's just a poster that I designed which now looking at it again I don't really like it but I guess the idea behind it again was to just show that I'm interested in everything. Next page and this, oh my god, I actually hate this one. <laughs> I think it's so cringy. I don't like it at all. Yeah, I don't even know what to say about it. I hate the font I chose for the series Polifacéticos, but I guess I was trying to be deep. It's, I think I would translate it as multifacetic beings. I don't know if that's a word, but that's the idea behind it. I don't really like it, so let's not talk about it. <laughs> Again, an illustration, this time with the sketch. Besides it, yeah, I don't have anything special to say about this one. I think it's just funny. Need a hand? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, next page. And I had never before doing this portfolio um, done anything typography or layout related. But as I said earlier, I wanted to show that even though I don't know anything about the topic and I am not good at it, I am interested in it. So this is my kind of very bad try at typography. I made it just like a very simple layout and I used some texts from the internet about Peruvian textiles. So I decided to use the word heritage and try to experiment a little bit. I remember doing this in Illustrator and absolutely hating it. I was struggling so much to make this, even though it isn't even something special. But yeah, I think it just shows interest because it was something very new to me. Again, the heritage typography with inverted colors and then filled in by a Peruvian textile. How creative. Okay, these next pictures I actually do like. Um, these are some film pictures I took from when I was in Peru visiting last year in the summer. I took a picture of one of my best friend's boyfriend in Peru. And then the other picture is from my sister Niara. And to personalize it a little bit more, I just added in these scotch tapes with little messages. Okay, and the next one, I suddenly get political. <laughs> but to give you a little bit of context, I made these collages, trying to make a political statement, um, criticizing Peru's previous president which haven't been very good presidents. It's just uh, collages of each one of these presidents and I made them with some articles which um, tell about their scandals and all the corrupt stuff they did. And as you can see, I had to translate these articles and give a little bit of context behind who these people are. I was applying to a uni in Germany and I couldn't really expect them to know everything about Peruvian politics, but I still included them because I thought it was a good idea to show that I am able to give my opinions and political views through my art or my designs. On the next page I made a little illustration which is um, Lima, the city where I lived in Peru. It's actually not so geographically correct but they wouldn't know so I just placed the little icon drawings I made on whatever districts. It doesn't really make sense if you can recognize the map of Lima but I don't know I thought it was a cute idea. It has some of the highlights I guess of Lima and just some of the stuff I miss, like my dad's house, my mom's house, you can see those. I added all the sketches for this idea. I actually made this following a Skillshare class. I remember trying out my free month of Skillshare while I was doing the portfolio because I thought it would give me some creative ideas while I was working on it. Again, not something that I find that impressive. It's just these collages of old people with masks. 
Um, I think we all know why. <laughs> While I was working on my portfolio, um, Corona was just beginning. So I wanted to show that I was also including work that was very new and that it was about stuff that was happening at that moment. <laughs> okay, for the second part of my portfolio, and I hope this video isn't too long already, we get to the assignment part. The theme we got for our assignment last year was the word rhythm. You were allowed to do anything you wanted, and this is just how I start off the second part. It's just like the introduction. So I wrote down rhythm and all the words I could think about related to the word rhythm. Again, my first work is just an illustration. I used a picture of Maddie Ziegler as a reference because I really liked um, the pose she was in in the picture. And I topped it off with the sentence, I'll follow my own rhythm, which um, yeah, I guess it's rhythm related. <laughs> the assignment was to do like 10 different things related to rhythm. So yeah, this is the second one and it's just um, some posters which I made about some fictional parties because I relate rhythm to dancing and now looking back at it, I don't think it's the best but I think it's the idea. That counts. So the third one is a redesign I decided to make using a beats ad because again rhythm, music, music, beats. I guess that's how my thought process was with this. I think this is my least favorite piece of this whole portfolio. I think the redesign is very ugly. Um, there is way too much stuff going on. Next one. And this is a little bit hard to explain. You don't necessarily have to have the skills for what you want to do. I would have tried making an animation or something, but it's just not something I really know how to do right now. Imagine the word rhythm, like just the letters, and they have like some straight lines above them. But every time there is like a pulse or a beat, lines would just like go up and reveal rhythm. I remember also struggling so much just to get this R to look kind of right. The next one I did is again a poster design. I used Illustrator for this too. I just distorted some lines to make some wavy shapes and it just says Rhythmus ist wellenförmig which makes sense to me. I had it done in two different colors and I think this is a simple one but it works. Next one is a redesign I guess for an album cover. I used She's a Rhythm Child from the Jackson 5 and yeah again not something that impressive. I think what they liked with my assignment is that I really took the word rhythm and tried to make as many different pieces out of it as I could. I think it came across that that was my intention. <laughs> okay, we're getting close to the end, so don't worry about that. For the next page, I made a collage in Photoshop, rhythm related. I remember using a generator for the letters and this took so long. I had to do letter by letter. I don't know, I, I think it looks nice. Okay, next one. And I think this is kind of a more abstract um, interpretation of rhythm. I wanted to make it like a rhythmic movement. So I took a butterfly just flying. I don't know what it's called, what I did to the butterfly picture. Two more to go. This is the only video project I handed in. It's again a rhythmic movement. I animated a heartbeat. I will put in, of course, the animation as well so you can see it. It was my first time using Adobe Animate and I I also really struggled making this but again I just think it shows interest in all aspects of design and the last one I just wanted to finish it up um, with something cute very related to the situation at that moment last year which was the first lockdown and yeah that was the last page from my portfolio I think your main takeaways from this video should be that one, again, if you are applying this year still during the pandemic, make sure to structure your portfolio very clearly, make it very organized so it's nice to look at and the judges know what is going on. Show that you are interested in all areas of design, if you're going to study communications design. If I 
were you, I wouldn't really worry about being the best artist out there and stuff like that. Um, I remember being told at the Mappenberatungen that it's the idea that's important to them and they just want you to show that you can be innovative innovative it's more of the thought process behind what you're handing in i think if you are applying this year i wish you good luck maybe this did help you and if it did i would love to hear about it of course if you have any questions you can always dm me through instagram or you can just leave a comment if you have any questions and i'll do my best to answer them and yeah i'm gonna stop talking now i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon. <laughs>